Hi guys, welcome to our channel, The Way TV. Today we want to touch on an important subject. You left Christianity. Now what? <laughs> they left Christianity. They now what are what? they in store for? Yes. Wow. So yes. this is a very important topic. We thought Absolutely. we would make this video because we were like you when we first left out of Christianity and we had questions. I mean, we dealt with many difficulties. We didn't know which way to turn. And by making this video, we want to help you guys. We want you to stay in this truth. And that's the purpose of this video. Um, we want to touch on why people fall off from the truth. Um, so basically, this video is, is just our testimony of how we came out of Christianity. The things we went through. Uh, and kind of give you a brief overview of what this channel is going to be about. So this is our testimony, and like <laughs> most people who come into the truth, it always starts with the woman, <laughs> most of the time. Yes, mm -hmm. well, like he said, the woman, it started with me. Yes. Um, first off, I was a part of a women's, a women's Bible fellowship. Um, actually, I was the leader in that fellowship. It was me and another another one of my friends at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, we both decided to do a women's fellowship together. And uh, we actually had a lot of women that would come and we would talk about the things that was going on in the world. We would talk about things that was going on with ourselves, you know, to try to help each other to, you know, be uh, better women in, in the community, better mothers, you know, just stuff like that to lift us up as women. And, um, there was a time, like after months have passed by, the fellowship was going really well. A lot of women were starting to come, and uh, a family with member. a family member, yes, mm -hmm. it was a, one of my family members, and I don't want to say who, but right. it was a close family mem family member. And we would talk all the time, mm -hmm. all the time, and every time I would speak to them, he would all well speak to him. He would always say, Yahshua, Yahshua. Yahshua and I was always saying Jesus Jesus but I never heard the name Yahshua before in my life at that time mm -hmm. so I would always say in my mind you know in the back of my mind what why he keeps saying Yahshua what is I don't get it mm -hmm. like every time I say Jesus he says Yahshua and I'm like you know he does like every time I say Jesus he does like he's not receiving of that name mm -hmm. and he always combats it with Yahshua so one day I was just I, I was like okay he's been doing this too much I wanna I wanna know what in the world is he saying that name for what does that mean and why he keeps saying it right and so I just came out and asked him I said um let me ask you a question I said I always hear you say Yahshua and every time I say Jesus you combat it with Yahshua as though you don't receive Jesus mm -hmm. and something is wrong with that name to you I said, is something wrong with that name? Why do you keep saying Yahshua, 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 and not acknowledging when I say Jesus? Mm -hmm. And then he said, well, Jesus is not the Messiah's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> what you talking about? A punch in the gut. <laughs> right. I wasn't expecting to hear that. I knew right. something was wrong, but I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting to hear that. And so that's when he said, no, oh, Jesus is not his name. He said the letter J is, is, is less than 600 years old. Mm -hmm. And I said, wait, wait, what? I mean, what are you talking about? No, that, that that's not true. He said, I'm telling you, you can go and research for yourself. He said, but I'm telling you the name, the, le the letter J is only uh, sitting, well, less than 600 years old. Mm -hmm. And the letter J did not exist when the Messiah existed. That's a new letter that was added to the alphabet. And he said Jesus was never his name. Right. And I got so mad. Mm -hmm. I was so upset. And I was like, no, that's not right. Where, where are you getting that from? And I was like talking to him as though he, he just, he didn't know what he was talking about. And I was like, where, where did you, where did you get that from? Right. Like something must be wrong where you go. Whatever fellowship you're going to, something is wrong with that fellowship. Because there's no way you could tell me that Jesus is not his name. Mm -hmm. That's the name I've been knowing my whole life. Right. And he was like, okay, well, study it for yourself. And I said, okay. He said, well, I'll tell you what. Um, no, he said, study it for yourself. Then I said, hold on. I said, okay. 
not only will I study it, study it for myself, how about we do a, a teaching, uh, not a teaching, how about we do a study on it? Right. Because I want to, if, if you're telling me that that's not his name, then you need to prove it to me. Mm -hmm. Don't just tell me that's not his name. I want to understand why you're telling me that's not his name. And I'm going to do a study on it too, and we're going to come together, bring our notes together, and we're going to talk about this, and you're going to show me why I'm calling on the wrong name, and Jesus is not his name. Right. And why Yahshua is the correct name. Mm -hmm. And that was before I started saying Yahushua, but you know, some people say Yahshua, and he was saying Yahshua to me at that time. So, um, that's when, you know, after he said that, so that's when I called my friend who I was doing the women's fellowship with. And I was like, cause I, I also mentioned to her, I said, you know, my family member, every time I speak to him, he keeps telling me over and over again, Yahushua, I mean, not Yahushua at the time he was saying Yahshua, Yahshua. Mm -hmm. And he had a problem with Jesus, and I would I would tell her about that sometimes. So I was like, do you know? Finally, I asked him about it, and this is what he said. And I said, finally, I told him, let's do a study on it. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to do a study with him. I'm, I told him we, that I was going to do a study, and she was like, really, <laughs> really? And I was like, yeah. And we were both excited about doing the study because I was like I want you to do it with me she's like oh yeah she's like girl we gonna get them we gonna get them she said I, I got a lot of scriptures mm -hmm. because she already like at the time she knew a lot of scriptures by heart so she's like I got a lot of scriptures to hit them with mm -hmm. so we was like right. tag team and like two women right. tag team and we, jump em. right jump em. <laughs> we thought we was gonna really jump them right so actually we went on our little we did we did our research as individuals, we didn't do it together. We was, I told her, I said, you do some research and I'm gonna do some research and then we're gonna come together and compare our notes. Mm -hmm. So, about a week passed and I started doing research. Mm -hmm. And the first place I went was online because now we have access to the internet. So I went online and the first thing I keyed in was, um, Jesus, wait, the letter J, mm -hmm. because, yes, because he was telling me the letter J is no more than 600 years old. So I was like, the letter J, no, how old is the letter J? And then that's when I started seeing, you know, some sites, I mean, I, they started taking me to sites that was telling me that the letter J is a fairly new alphabet. It was added to the alphabet, the very last letter added to the alphabet. Hmm. And it was also confirming that the letter J is only like some places it was saying on less than 500 years old and less than 600 years old. So I was like, huh? I'm like, nah, something can't be right with this. Cause me, I'm, I'm so excited to prove it wrong. And I'm like, mm -mm, let me, let me do some more research. Mm -hmm. So I'm researching even further. And then I'm seeing that cause now I'm starting to put in Jesus, Jesus, where does the name Jesus come from? Right. So now I'm starting to get all these websites that's telling me he was a Hebrew. Hmm. I said, okay. Because I didn't know that much about our Savior, about his his background and, and what, you know, his nationality and what he was. Right. So I'm saying a Hebrew? Okay. What is a Hebrew? Because right. I didn't understand that then. Right. I'm like a Hebrew. So I started keening more. Every time I would get more information, I'm like, Hebrew was Hebrew. So then as I'm researching Hebrew, I'm starting to see a lot of images that look like me. Right. <laughs> I'm like, what? What's I mean, on? when I was in the Catholic church, I used to literally go and kneel down and pray to Mary. the Mary and the Jesus, Jesus on the cross, on the, cross mm -hmm. the white image, to be honest. Right. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? So I'm tripping and, mm -hmm. you know, going through all kind of things, all kind of emotions on the inside. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm, I'm really like, now I'm getting terrified. I'm getting afraid. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, well, no, this can't be true. Because it's like somebody telling you that the mother that raised you, that you knew all your life who raised you, mm -hmm. telling you that, you know, you become a grown up and they telling you, you know, that's not your mother. And that's how I was feeling about Jesus. And um, 
that's when you know I just kept on and kept on and then I, I say okay hold on let me look at the alphabets in Hebrew because if he was a Hebrew I, they have it they have a Hebrew language right. so as I researched the Hebrew letters and the pronunciations I literally did a study on the entire Hebrew right. alphabet and then I found out there was no really no letter J back then mm -hmm. Not only was it no letter J, there was no J sound in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he was a Hebrew, and the scriptures also tells us, because I've also researched that, right. and it said that he spoke in a Hebrew, Hebrew tongue. tongue. Exactly. So it, it gives us scripture, you know, the scripture tells us that he was clearly a Hebrew. Exactly. So if he spoke in a Hebrew tongue, how would they see in Jesus? How, right. And that's a new letter that was added to the, the very last letter added to the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And there was no J sound. Mm -hmm. um, and no J. So I'm like, hold on. So then I started seeing names pop up like Yahshua, Yeshua, Yah, you know, just stuff with Yah, Yah, with Y in it and the Yah sound. Right. Next thing you know, I'm researching and then I'm connecting everything and then it's showing J. In some parts of the name, how man has put J in it, but all would but when you read it, it says Yah. Mm -hmm. For instance, the word Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're already you, saying the name. Yes, <laughs> you're you spelling it with the J, but you're not saying Hallelujah. Right. You're saying Hallelujah, which means praise be to Yah, which is the short form of our Creator Yahuwah's name. Right. And His name, the Father's name, is in His Son's name. It's what the word tells us. So I'm seeing all of this. Everything that I'm telling to, to you guys, this is what I was seeing. Mm -hmm. So I actually started crying. And my husband didn't know this, but I I was actually staying up late. I was going to bed at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. This is how much this was getting to me. Affecting. Yes. It it was one o'clock in the morning. And I was going in my prayer closet in the dark. And I was crying so much. Mm -hmm. And I was just telling the Father, I said, you know, just help me. I need you to, to give me understanding. I need you to show me the right way. T show me the truth. I don't want to do it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Although I'm afraid. I was terrified because I was thinking of how I would be judged and seen by my family. Right. My friends at that time. And I was feeling like I'm going to be looked at as weird. Hmm. Um, you know, I'm going to be different now. Mm -hmm. It's no longer going to be the same. And I was terrified. I was terrified. So I had to pray so many nights. Mm -hmm. And as I was praying and as I was praying, the Father started opening up my heart and giving me understanding. Mm -hmm. And when it was time for me and my friend at that time to come together to compare our notes, mm -hmm. the conversation was really deep. Mm. I started sharing to her what was going on with me and she actually shared the same thing wow. she said the same thing was going on with her and mm. she said you know what I know she said it's going on with me too mm -hmm. she said I believe that that is his name you know that his name does start with a Y. Mm -hmm. The time we were saying Yahshua, because some people do say Yahshua, but you know mm -hmm. later as we did our research, we came to Yahushua with the Father's guidance and through research. But she was like, I know that Jesus is not his name. She said because I, I was shown that it, the letter J is less than 600 years old. Mm -hmm. She said, but I'm just terrified. I said, me too. <laughs> And we both were looking at each other like, what are we going to do? We have this women fellowship. Right. And how are we going to proceed in right. the in the name of Jesus without telling these women what, you know, the new revelation we received? Mm -hmm. And we were so afraid. And we both said, you know what, let's pray about it. Let's, let's just pray on it. Mm -hmm. So we started praying on it. And we never did a fellowship in between that time because mm -hmm. we were still afraid. And then we finally got on the phone and we started talking about it. And it's like, well, we prayed about it. So, you know, what you came up with, what did the Father show you? Mm -hmm. And I was like, honestly, what I received, I can no longer 
go back and do a fellowship without letting the women know what we have received. Right. Um, it just wouldn't be right and I can't operate based off of a lie. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, you know, i tell you what, if you want to let them know, you can. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. me, I'm going to still call on the name of Jesus. Right. You know, sometimes it just might pop out, I'm going to call on the name of Jesus. I mean, but she was very afraid. And, and as she was talking, I was like, oh, <laughs> right. mm -mm. and I know because the, the, the Bible says that how can, how, what is that scripture when it says, um, how can two walk together yeah. unless they yeah. agree? Unless they agree. We have to be in agreement. Right. And she was like, ah, really, you know, that's, that's all I've been knowing all my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to still be calling on the name. You know, if you want to tell them what you received, you could, you can. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh right. my goodness. Because one thing about me, I, I you know, although I was operating in ignorance, mm -hmm. I still had, I always had a desire to want to know the Father's truths, to know His His Word, um, to, to know how to walk it out to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. And um, that just did not sit right with me because I just felt like if I would be operating based on, you know, if I would go into the fellowship and, and, and lie and still act as though we never received anything or still mm -hmm. show them that it's okay that I can be held accountable. Because we were leading the fellowship. We weren't just going to the fellowship. We were leading it. Exactly. So that was very important for, you know, us to be on the same accord. And after that conversation, that's when we we actually, I was like, well, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So we, we I, that's when we stopped talking. We actually stopped talking over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Still till today, we, we've we never spoke spoken again. Wow. And um, she was a very very close friend of mine I wish her well mm -hmm. um, you know beautiful heart everything but when it comes to this it was a no for me mm -hmm. I was moving forward and I wanted to learn now I, I had a desire for knowledge I had a desire for wisdom and learning and I and I was like I'm gonna seek the father with my whole heart mm -hmm. to 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 gain more understanding so I just moved forward and I, I went into I mean I bought Strong's Concordance, I bought books on top of books on top of books and right. um did research like I, I researched to the max. <laughs> um and, and after that it was no longer uh I could go back. It was too much true too much information that I received that I could no longer go backwards. And um <laughs> After uh, that, mm -hmm. we went to church. We were in the church. Where we at were that in time. the church at right. the time. So we went to church one last time. And we went to this church for years. Years. This was our church home. Right. We was going there, I mean, oh my goodness, for probably what, eight years, if not probably more. Right. But for years. Mm -hmm. And I won't f ever forget that day because it was me, my husband, and it was, one, it was one of my sisters, and we were sitting out in church. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the pastor was preaching and as right. the pastor was preaching he was preaching out of con like the word out of context I was hearing nothing but the lies it was nothing but prosperity gospel and it had it was not aligning with the word right. some of the stuff that he was speaking on I had just studied those scriptures and I could hear it it was like it was so clear as day he was that twisting he was twisting scriptures mm -hmm. And a lot of times at that church, they would turn off the lights so that you can stand up and you can pray. And the lights was off. And as we were standing up and I was hearing him lying when he was preaching, I looked around and it was dark. And, and this in and, and my heart, I was like, oh my. And I started crying in church. I was like, all of these people are being deceived. We're being deceived. Right. And I'm like, I heard run in my mind. And when we got back, I mean, actually when we was in church, I was writing down on a paper. I said, never again, can I can no longer come back. And I showed it to my husband and I showed it to my sister. And they was looking at me like, what's going on? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. It's what a is message? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? And I'm like, mm-mm. In my heart, I was like, this is not right. This is not the spirit. Because mm -hmm. even in the word, it tells us that 
his sheep will hear his voice. That's what Yahushua says, that we will hear his voice. And a stranger we will not follow. Mm -hmm. And I did not hear that pastor's voice anymore. So we got home, and I guess you can take over right now what happened with the experience with us. Right. Because um, that was the last time we ever went to church. Yeah, that was it. We was done with the church. Um, yeah, actually, you started. Um, I always loved the church because the pastor was funny. He always told great stories. <laughs> and I pretty much liked the church. And he was just like, I'm not receiving it because he's, he's twisting the scripture. So in between, we didn't go to that church, but you went to a couple of other churches trying to hear a different word. That um, was before that. After that, that we didn't go that. to church anymore. But before that, as I was coming, you know, into that understanding, mm -hmm. I matter of fact, I forgot that because I said, no, that was actually before all of that. Okay. Before I came into the knowledge of truth, mm -hmm. um, I had went to visit, um, you know, other churches. Right. I went to visit the women in the fellowship. I went to visit, like, their church. And um, that's a whole nother story. Right. I, I've, I've seen some... Right. I've seen some things that made me run. Right. I was like, mm -mm, that's, not, that's it. not it. So, no. and I kept telling my. I even went to the church that we were going to. I went to the Bible study, the Bible study because at I the church, yes, right. and that was before I came to the knowledge of the truth. And I was telling my husband, I said something is just not right. Hmm. I don't understand. Like when when the preacher preached, we supposed to be convicted. Hmm. Like we were actually living. I think what, were we? Oh no, what what was going on with us? No, we were married at the time, uh, right? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, he when he would speak, it was not convicting anybody. It was like everything was okay. Right. Any type of lifestyle was okay. Shacking so up. Love, everything is happiness. love. He never preached it's anything. Sin, right. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, okay, I got some stuff going on. I mean, mm -hmm. you you're not even you're I'm not I'm convicted. not getting convicted, right? right. So I'm like, and I told my husband, I say, something is not right. I don't feel right anymore at the church. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting convicted in the churches that I'm visiting. I, the spirit is not in there. It's mm -hmm. lust. It's, it's some stuff that I'm seeing with the other women in the right. church. The, the praying on the women. and right. it's, just, it's just pastors praying on the women. <laughs> no, it's, this is, this is something. Silliness. Yes, it's not right. Mm -hmm. And, um. I went to the to, to the Bible fellowship and I was like, and I kept telling my husband, maybe I should volunteer to help. Something is not right because I was falling asleep at the fellowship. The lady was just talking about her family who was leading the fellowship. She was not rightly divine the word. She only would tell scriptures from time to time, but it was, she didn't even know how to break it. I mean, it just right. was, it, it wasn't of the spirit. We wouldn't get convicted. It was just not, it was nothing. We were falling asleep. Mm. Not just me, but the other women were falling asleep. Right. So, that, I just had right. to add that. Yep. So, while she was going through all that, and that time we went to church, and she was like, this is it. I was like, oh, man. Well, first, I want to start off by saying, my background, um, before we even got married, I was basically an atheist. Um, I kind of believed, but I didn't believe. I thought it was, if it's to be, it's, it's up to me. Uh, I'm going to get mine at all costs and um, whatever I achieve it, it's going to be on my strength, my abilities, um, God who, that's yes. basically how I looked at it. And the um, only reason why I, we, we, we've been together for so long and why I married him is because mm -hmm. he was humble at the right. same time. He was still willing to, to go and listen, listen and, and, yeah. and Gain some understanding right. of what what is this Bible thing? Right. What is you know? Even right. though he was like, I'm that's not me. Right. You know. I was humble and was willing to listen. So we went to church a bunch of times and all that. And then um, actually, actually, I started um, adopting the Christianity beliefs. Um, this church that we were going to, it was a great church. Before we was in the Catholic church, and I really didn't understand anything. I was like, we just sitting in there, and they had a. <laughs> I had a past a priest in there. He was from a foreign country, so you really, you didn't even hardly understand what he was saying. That's how bad it was. So we basically was going like most people just to say, okay, we went to church. That's it. Went to church, came back home. But this church that we went to for eight years, it was a great church. It was more exciting. Um, non -denomination. The pastor, yep, non -denomination, the no pastor, idols. No idols. The pastor told stories. Um, 
So we knew back then with the Catholic Church that something was wrong with the idol worshiping yes, and everything. Yes, that's like actually that. why we left because right. we started talking about it and saying, "Okay, it's not feeling right. Something is not right." The, the Bible is telling us not, us to, worship not to worship idols, right? Or bow down to them and right. all of that. So here you have Mary and the Jesus on the cross and all that. So yeah. we just felt in our spirit that something was wrong with that. Right. So we went to the church um, again. I was an atheist and I was I adopted to Christianity. And when she's like, this was it, I'm like, man, I just started really believing this and now you changing up on me. <laughs> mm. uh, so I was like, man, I, I really love this church. I can't believe that you saying that this is it. And she was saying, no, this, this is not the way, this is not the name. So basically how I felt is like, uh, we're going on two different paths. Um, you can't tell me Jesus is not his name. That's not my father. Because you, you might as well tell me that my mom's name is not Linda. <laughs> my mm -hmm. father's name is not Jerome. Mm -hmm. So that that's how strong I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, um, I basically looked at, looked at it as she's she's a Muslim and I'm a Christian. That's basically how far I thought she was going. Mm -hmm. um, so man, we was at each other's throats. Um, it took a lot of prayer, um, a lot of... <laughs> Back and forth, a lot of prayer, a lot of so God, you see, praying works, a praying woman works, a praying wife works. I so, want to say this for the wives and mm -hmm. also for the husbands because sometimes husbands come into the knowledge of the truth, but their wives are not in the truth. Right. And a lot of times, too, wives may come into the truth, but the husbands are not right. in the truth. But I can tell you personally from my story that mm -hmm. prayer does work. Exactly. Because I did a lot of crying. When I say crying, like real crying, not mm -hmm. no just <laughs> like <laughs> on the floor, right. like <laughs> you know, like crying, balling up, like hardcore crying mm -hmm. and praying, praying, praying for my husband. Um, because I always, you know, I always knew that my husband was a good guy. It's just, it's just that part of us that was keeping us right. disconnected. Because right. now. I was reading my Bible by myself. We were not, it, it was just a separation, separation. in the house. Mm -hmm. And and we could have feel it. Right. Because he was like, what was what's going on with my wife? What's going on? <laughs> she turned into a Muslim right before my eyes. She's going down a whole different path. Right. And, uh, we were hardcore Christians. So. I did uh, a lot of praying. She did a lot of praying. Lot of praying. Um, something happened where it was just like a breaking point. It's like. Basically, that's how she felt. It's like, you gonna follow this or it's over. It got to that point. Yeah, it got to that it point. It got to that point because so, I knew what the Father gave me. Mm -hmm. I knew that it was true. Right. And I just felt the separation in the home. It was no more communicating. It mm -hmm. was It was just, it was not the same. Right. So attention. I was starting to feel weird, dis mm -hmm. disconnected, and him too, you right. know. So I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. We can't do this. Right. We can't do this anymore because I know what the Father has given me. Mm -hmm. I know it's true. You know, it's true. All, all I want, you know, mm -hmm. all I'm asking is for you to go and just, just, just do right. the research. So I'm not trying to tell, asking. beat yep. it to, into you. Mm -hmm. just, just at least research, research yep. to see what I'm talking about because he wasn't even researching. No, that was the thing. So I was like, you, I know you're lying. It's, you can't tell me it's not true. So basically, that was the ultimatum. She's like, well, you research or oh, that's it. So humbled myself. That's one of the things you said about uh, when we got married, or what you loved about me is that I, I was, was humble. Always and humble. I listened, and I was really open to when it came ideas. To right. Spiritual things. I was open to other things. So right. I was like, let me go research and see what this is all about. And that's what but I. But he recommend. still wasn't saying like, oh, to, you know, like, right. like to say I'm I'm, it. Right. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm gonna just go research. Right. You know, the, let me, let me see, see what this is about. Right. So, then that's what I would recommend to anyone. That's what I tell everyone. Just do the research for yourself. Um, if, and we'll talk about that later. Is when you're trying to push this on people, and the best thing you can tell somebody is go research for yourself and let Yah pray to Yah that He um, reveals His truth to you. And that's what I did. I started researching, I started reading books. So, what I was doing was I was reading history books. And I was realizing what that book was saying was that how they were 
uh, doing how they were worshiping. And the book was saying that they were actually worshiping in their homes. They wouldn't actually go into a physical building uh, in the New Testament. Because remember the, the, old te the old temple got destroyed. Mm -hmm. So I tied that together with, okay, if they were saying the, they were worshiping in homes, mm -hmm. they must have been saying the names different back mm -hmm. then. They, they couldn't have been saying J. So I mm -hmm. tied that in with the name. And that's how I came into the knowledge of the name. I started, I watched the video, uh, Messenger of the Name. I recommend him. He has a great video. Uh, what is his son's name? What is the father's name? Mm -hmm. So Very I highly recommend video. that. Yes. He has one for Yahuwah and Yahushua. Right. So that kind of laid the foundation as far as the names and everything else. And that's what I would recommend you guys do. Uh, and we've been in this troop for what? About 10 years? About 10 years. Yes. So kind of what we want to transition to is we've since being in this troop for over 10 for 10 years we've seen a lot of people come and go um and we've seen why a lot of people fell off or, or leave from the truth and we don't want that for you guys so that's pretty much our testimony of how we came in the into the truth i came kicking and screaming <laughs> i had a praying wife she brought me along so I'm so happy too because I the thing of the right to the most high yeah. because yes. guys again remember I was an atheist a lot of the time the Bible doesn't even make sense to you but when you go back and research what they were doing back in those times and you come into the truth about the name it all starts to make sense you get a, again a deeper knowledge of the Bible when you go into church Ah, it's kind of lovey dovey. The t the past is just right. Prosperity, nothing. Everything's all good. It's it's you don't get a deep. It's basically like you're reading a, a self help book or a philosophy book. Um, they're not touching on the judgment of Yah, the things that He's gonna do if you don't keep His commandments. And He's not taking a deep dive into Scripture. You're basically getting the Scripture at a surface level. And right. I mean if that's what you want that's fine a lot, a lot of people have that but if you want a, a deeper knowledge with the father and have yes. a, a better, better relationship, personal relationship right. with them right you have to know his name um and that's a big part of developing that personal relationship to, with them because uh honestly guys god is a title we know jesus the letter j didn't exist for 600 years yes. and um I mean, it's so much we can share, like the, the um, Lord and God that's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was taken out of the Bible like it, over 6,800 6, times. Right. I mean, if you do st a, a study on that, right, if you mm -hmm. do a study on that, you will be able to see that, that his, that YHWH, which, which is the Hebrew letters of the Father's name, right. uh, which is YHWH, right, mm -hmm. but that's in English, YHWH, mm -hmm. but it was taken out of the Bible. So everywhere where you see Lord and God, mm -hmm. that used to be Yahuwah in the Hebrew letters. Right. So it was taken out over 6,800 times. That is a lot of times. Exactly. And that was done by men, by men who had no authority to do that by the Father. Mm -hmm. But we know too that everything happens according to how he wants it to go. So it was to fulfill his purpose. So that only a small remnant, just like the scripture says, only a small remnant will be saved. Mm -hmm. So only that small remnant would be you know would start seeking him out in the end and and become knowledgeable in who he is and you know the actually start to uncover some of the hidden mysteries right. uh, of things that have happened and even his hidden mysteries in the scriptures so this is what what has happened with us and still happening with us because we're, we're learning Standard every learning. day right. every day we don't have it all no together and we definitely don't want to make it seem that we definitely don't want to make it seem like we're the ones that have it all no not at all but i mean it is so much uh history on and it, and the thing is it's not hidden history right. it's history that you can go and find out anybody can go and easy, find out on their easy own search. it's easy easy search. you'll be able to see that his name was taken out of the bible and replaced with lord and god mm -hmm. so these titles are man-made titles that was put in the bible for us to call on. Exactly. You know. Right. So guys, again, like I was just saying, the purpose of this video is um, you're in Christianity, so now what? I mean, you left Christianity, so now what? You're in this truth. And we want we want you to stay in this truth. Um, being that we've been in the 
truth for 10 years. We've seen so many people come and go and fall off from the truth. And these are just a couple of reasons why. And these are the things that you should be on guard for. One of the things that we saw was that people, when they come into this truth, they, being that it's, it's new knowledge and they're trying to gain so much knowledge, they're eating off of so many tables. And we know that in the scripture it tells us that Yah is not the author of confusion. No. So when you start eating off of all of these tables, your mind, your mind starts spinning. You, you start getting confused, confused. As, uh, as to what is right. Yes. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna say firsthand too. When we, well, when I first came into the knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. before my husband came along into the truth, all the way. Right. I was a part of a ministry. Right. And this was a ministry that do profess the names and they have come into the knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. And I went through spiritual abuse. Right. And um, that was one of the hardest things for me to leave because when I became a part of the ministry, mm -hmm. it was like I found my family. Right. You know, that was my brothers and my sisters. And it was like I found home, you know. Mm -hmm. And. Um, uh, I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm moving forward. Right. But it was spiritual abuse that not just me, but a lot of people went through in the ministry mm -hmm. and they end up leaving the ministry. But um, in between that time of me going through that, that's when I started seeking the Father and asking Him to build me back up. Right. And, you know, to lead me and guide me in the way that He wants me to go. Because I know that we're not supposed to be in a position where we are being uh, men worshipers, mm -hmm. um, putting anybody, you know, before y'all or creating idols out of people. Mm -hmm. um, but he was drawing me more closer to him. And y'all was telling me, you know, you, you have to come out. For mm -hmm. me to show you what I need to show you, it, it's time for you to come. Right. And um, when I left, that's when I came into even more knowledge. But at the same time, I learned then. To never place any trust. one mm -hmm. before Yah. Put your trust yeah. in Him, completely in Him. Because mm -hmm. if you remember in the scriptures, well, are you, I don't know if it's Judges. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm right, but you guys may know or you can Google it. Mm -hmm. But where the people were, um, when they it's wanted a the king, king, they right. were talking to Samuel. And um, they kept telling Samuel, well, we want a king. We mm. want a king to rule over us. Right. And Samuel kept coming back with a message from Yahuwah telling the people, he, you know, he's, he's your king. king. Right. You have a king. Mm -hmm. And the people still didn't want to hear that. They was like, yeah, we know, but we want a, a king here to mm -hmm. rule over us. And the Most High Yah was so, was so mad, he just told Samuel, okay, tell him I'm going to give him a king. Mm. But because they want a king so bad to rule over them, right. this is what they're going to experience, mm -hmm. which was all type of hardship. And, you know, just, just they, they would get a bad king. Right. And that's exactly what happened to the people. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know if that was in Judges or Kings, but, mm -hmm. right, it's, it's one of them. <laughs> right. I don't have my scriptures in front of me. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we have the whole fast to Yah. Right. Um, don't lean on your understanding and don't lean on man's understanding. Now we know that he puts people in position mm -hmm. to help us right. who may be more knowledgeable than mm -hmm. us. But always go back and study and compare what Which, you know right. with, with, with what the, the scripture says with what they're saying. Exactly. And there's a powerful scripture. I, I didn't want to forget it. In Romans 14, 23, mm -hmm. it says... For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. Hmm. So, if you don't believe in what you're doing, you're sinning against Yah. Hmm. So make sure that you got the understanding from Him and you fully believe it in your heart before you start doing it. Right. Because to Him, He's going to look at it as sin. Right. And so that's what we received. And I know there's a lot of different, um, you know, uh, teachings right. and things going around. Um, some some concerning the Sabbath on certain right. days. Um, some say follow Paul. Some say Paul is a false prophet. I mean, oh my goodness. It's, some it's, say believe in the flat earth. Some say the right. earth I is round. I mean, you can... Nothing you can to do with salvation. You can branch off into so many things. So many. Keep, um, eating off of all of these tables. Right. So guys, that's, we don't want that for you guys. No. Um, 
stay steadfast to the word stay, stay in the word the word and if it's if it's something that that has nothing to do with salvation and it, it, and you feel that it's all over the place and it's confusing to you leave it alone leave it alone leave it alone because really what's going to matter at the end of the day is your personal relationship with exactly. Yah and nobody is responsible for that but you <laughs> every man must carry their own yes mistake yes even fear and trembling right 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 so, so um we yeah don't eat off too many tables god that's gonna it's gonna cross you up and yes, <laughs> yes. you're gonna look back and you'll be like i don't believe none of this stuff yes. it's, it's all a lie or so. you could end up in a situation like <laughs> i was in with the spiritual abuse right. and how i came out of that was was yahuwah but at the same time my husband started right. coming at that time when i was well you know when the father was showing me mm -hmm. What was going on he started coming into the knowledge of the truth too so he was like no 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 this right. is enough this is enough this is not right and he's you know and that's how i was he's like you got to go and not only that but i was already experiencing that and y'all was telling me go run go. you know so all right just know. to touch on what you said briefly um when we come into this truth we we leave in the church and the church was like our family member so that's hard so when you come into this truth, a lot of people, they looking for a new people to fellowship with and, and to build that relationship with. Right. So they just quick to hop into a ministry. Right. Ministry might not be teach, teaching the 100 percent right. truth. And uh, so you just got to be careful. And yes. And we're not so against quick. ministries, right. so, but be careful. Just like be he's careful. saying, just don't sit be back. Don't just hurry up and jump in. Just kind of sit back and, and see what's going on with right. with the other believers. Just research and um, find out more about them. Don't just right. jump 10 toes in. Just kind of right. sit back and watch and let the spirit move you. Absolutely. And uh, you might just get into a ministry that, that seems okay. And right. it might later on down the, the road, they might change. Right. But you always hold fast to Yah and to His right. Word. And we also still pray for those brethren. We right. don't want, I mean, it's not in Yah's will for anybody to perish, you know. So we, we, we pray for everybody, mm -hmm. you know, who, who's in the truth, who fell off. Because, I mean, it can be any one of us. Because we don't ever want to, what the, the scripture says, um, if a man thinks he stands, let him take heed right. lest he fall. Right. So we want to remain humble because we know that that truth can be taken from anybody, exactly. you know. But we always, you know, stay in prayer for, for all believers, that all remain steadfast, and that the, even those who have fallen off, mm -hmm. that the Father can draw them back into the, the fold. And I want to say one thing, too, because mm -hmm. that is going to go back to what you just said, um, the importance of not eating off of too many tables. Mm -hmm. Because when I came out of the ministry, uh, the, where I dealt with spiritual abuse, mm -hmm. there was another one of my sisters in the faith. Uh, you know, she came into... I mean, she came out of the ministry too, mm -hmm. and she started e eating off of different tables. Right. And we were always, you know, send each other letters and communicate with one mm -hmm. another. And eventually, she just started coming to me and and telling me, Yahusha was not does not exist. Right. Uh, the New Testament is fake. Mm -hmm. It's false. Right. It was added by man, and he and she was just going on about this we only supposed to be following torah in the in the old testament but yahushua was the torah in the flesh right the word in yah's word in the flesh mm -hmm. so i mean you know and they prophesied about him in the old testament as well mm -hmm. but she just kept going and i was like i think this is dangerous right. you're going too far Yahushua is real and that when I would try to tell her about Yahushua it, it was becoming more of a she wanted to battle with me and battle right. with me and I said this is not healthy mm -hmm. and next thing you know I had to cut her off mm -hmm. I had to because and notice too when you're in this truth if there's somebody that is continuing to try to cause the scar or right. you know um it is operating out of a the flesh right. and or out of a, the, a discord I mean a, a not well I don't know is it discard or um, um I don't know. Just out of a spirit that wants uh that's caused the contention. Right. Contention. contention and dissension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to cut them off. Right. Because that can cause you to fall off. Right. And anything that can cause you to fall off, you have to remove it. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's very important. And I I like months later down the line I checked to see how she was doing and she completely just fell off. Fell off. <laughs> she stopped believing. She completely fell off. Yep. So sometimes you can see, especially when you've been in the truth for so long, you can actually see the patterns now because you you've seen it in other people so many times. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of it has to do with eating off of too many tables, like you like you said. Right. And when you stop believing in Yahushua and the New Testament, 
and and you know just saying oh we just gotta uphold to the old covenant scriptures mm -hmm. that's an automatic no <laughs> exactly. that's all because yahushua was pro the, he's prophesied about all, all over in and you know exactly. everywhere in the old it testament lines up perfectly lines up perfectly yep so one don't eat off of too many tables secondly which is another big one guys it's a marathon this walk is a marathon. It's not a sprint. A lot of people, they come into the truth and they just want to soak up so much knowledge, like up front. They just sprint into that finish line. The scripture tells us in Ecclesiastes 9-11 that the race is, is not for the swift. It tells us in uh, the New Testament how we have to persevere and then we'll get our prize in the end. This is a long marathon. This is we steady learning as we go through this life, guys. How we just said we don't know all the answers. We will never know the, all the answers, the mysteries of this Bible. But Amen. we steady, we steady learning, we steady asking y'all for guidance yes. each and every day. So you have to. Is that is another thing? It's different levels to this thing. Like now, when you're as you just come into this truth, you you just ready for milk at this moment. So just keep um, drinking the milk, keep drinking the milk, and as you get better and, and with more knowledge into the scripture, you you'll be ready for meat. So just keep on. Just drink the milk, man. Don't be in a rush to, to try to soak up all this knowledge because it, it's going to take a long time. It took us Oof, years. We went right. through different levels right. where we believed different, different stages, things. Yeah, right. Different right. stages. We believed yeah, different things. That was a problem. We were right. still doing holidays. And then next thing you know, we started researching and started right. thinking, okay, no, this is, right. this is a no. So, I mean, as you, levels, as you yeah. continue to go and, and research and study, y'all is going to keep revealing himself more and more to you. But you know, you just like you said, just be steadfast. Um, steadfast. Don't get caught up in because there's some people too who, you know, that that'll be puffed up and and you know hold their knowledge against you because right. they oh I know more than you and uh, that's not of the spirit because people you know most people who are wiser or no more they're gonna be humble about exactly. it. Exactly. So if they're not humble and it's more like. I got it right and look at me and you should be doing like me. Right. Mm, you best be no. aware of that spirit. Yeah, who should say whoever wants to be first must be last. So if mm -hmm. they don't have a humble spirit and, and willing to serve and, mm -hmm. and and meet you where you're at, mm -hmm. you be on guard for that person. Um, so you just have to, like I just said, meet people where they're at. Man. It's, it's totally different. Like we've been in this in this truth for ten years, we can't expect somebody that's just coming in to be like, "Oh, you better know it this way." Mm -hmm. Just coming out of Christianity, when we just came out of Christianity, it was a lot that we didn't know. Right. And we just had to learn it and go through those different stages. So, right. take your time, take baby steps, and just keep praying to Yah that He He should He reveals His truth to you each right. step of the way. Right. But just just hold fast to, to the truth that what what got you into this truth. Right. Hold fast to that. Thirdly, when we come into this truth, what we was talking about earlier with our the family members and, and in the church mm -hmm. is once we learn this mm -hmm. truth, <laughs> we want to ram it down people's throat and we want everybody to accept it. I've um, been through that. Mm, I've been through that. It, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was telling everybody about it. I would post so many scriptures and mm -hmm. knowledge on my page and I started looking and it was like, everybody was like, Ugh. Right. What happened to her? What's <laughs> wrong with her? Everybody, I mean, I've heard, I've heard stories about them talking about me behind my back. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many. Which honestly, I'm to the point in my life right now where it does not matter anymore because right. Yah is greater than all, exactly. and my salvation is more important to me than what anybody else has to say at this particular point. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, I, oh my goodness, I was chewed out. Right. <laughs> And um, really, in my heart, I was just so excited and I just wanted to share with my loved ones because I just wanted to help them. I'm mm -hmm. like, we got to come out, y'all. We got to come out. Right. And and I, they just didn't receive it the same way. Mm -hmm. and, and now I understood Yahushua and his word when they were saying where he, that he wasn't received by his own people. Exactly. You know, um, and I was like, now I understood. I mean, I know I could never compare to him and what mm -hmm. he'd been through. But he also said, if we believe in him, we would suffer persecution just like him. Exactly. And I felt it. Oh, my. I felt that. I'm like, this has to be the right, right. way. Because I've never felt like this before in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, this is true. 
persecution. I've never felt persecution. And you think about it. Right. In church. What per, what persecution do you feel? Exactly. What what being nobody really persecute because everybody just I'm not saying every church, but I know it's a lot of that that goes on mm -hmm. where and I've seen it in church. You go out, you go to the club mm -hmm. on Saturday. You you live a life all week that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Right. Participating in all kind of things that would you know that that's outside of his will. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday everything is the pastor's not preaching to, to nothing. Mm -hmm. And everything is fine. And then, you know, you're dressed up on Sunday, and then next thing you know, the, ne back, the week come back and it's back. back to wilding out. We're again, all be free, right? we're all be free. <laughs> so that's the thing, guys. You don't want to ram it down. You have to be patient with your family members, with people who you bring this truth to, because not everyone is going to believe. You got to remember that you were a Christian. And yeah, he, he, gave, he found favor by... Uh, exposing you to this truth because you are one of his so you got to remember the scripture tells us that it's only a handful of people that's going to make it straight is the way and narrow is the gate and uh, a lot of people are not going to make it so the truth is not for everyone no, that's just not. how you got to look at right. it uh, that took me a while right <laughs> it took me a while but i mean i understand it now now i still sometimes you know may put up a little scripture mm -hmm. from here and then when the spirit moves me right but still i get you know right I get talks, but it does not matter. But we're not supposed to be afraid, neither. No, no. So don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying just be not quiet and right. not to not say to bring anything. It to you can bring it to him. It's just you have to do it to him. Bring it in bits and pieces. Right. Scripture tells us those who win souls oh, is wow. wise, right? Yes. So you have to just be smart about it. Give them a little bit up by a little bit. Like I just talked about milk. You have to give them spoonful here, <laughs> spoonful there. Don't drop a whole, <laughs> drop the whole bucket on them all at once because you're gonna overwhelm them. Like I was right. just talking about, there's different stages to this walk, to this truth. So just give them a little bit at a time. Come at them first with what you guys agree about. Um, one thing that I can agree with a lot of the Christians about is that we both believe in the Bible. So you believe that there's the Messiah and that there's a Heavenly Father, but we disagree on the names and everything else. So if you really love the Father like you say, let's. If you want to research the name and see, you'll find out that his name is Yahuwah and Yahushua. Because you study and you find out the truth. But you build that bridge first on what you agree on, not on the disagreements. So you just hit them with little bit by little bit and hopefully you can draw them into the fold. But always remember that it's only a certain amount that's going to make it. And praise Yah that, that you may be one of them. And be ready be for the walk, them. right? And be ready for the walk right. because... Not everybody's gonna receive you, even though if no. you do it the way we're saying. They're still it, not gonna receive no. you. No, I mean they still. No, you still you just keep praying. For yes, them. just keep praying for them and know and just be excited that Yah has revealed His truth to you exactly. and has opened up your eyes when you look around and see the stuff that is going on in the world and mm -hmm. how it's getting worse. You know, wickedness is increasing. The love of many are waxing cold. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look around and see that, just the fact that He has opened up your eyes. To be able to receive his truths at in, in such a time, you know, just just praise right. him and be thankful, and just know that you know your walk is going to be worth it right. in the end. Right. You know. So, guys, that was pretty much the video. Just want to give you all testimony, touch on why people fall off from the truth, they, um, eat off too many tables. It's a marathon, not a sprint, mm -hmm. and um, just don't try to force it down people's throat. Um, just take your time, spoon feed them. Yes. Um, and you won't fall off because we know, guys. We were just saying this. This walk is a tough walk. You gonna face a lot of per persecution from yes. your family, from your friends. Mm -hmm. You gonna stop doing the holidays. They gonna look at you funny and all that other good stuff. So it, it's a. This is real persecution when yes. you're in this walk. It's not that fake then, Christian pers persecution. Um, right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, I was just. I was wrapping up. No. And, uh, okay. And we want to talk about what this channel is going to be out about. We're going to come out with more videos on teachings that we've done over the years that we want to share with you guys. Um, we're going to pop on here at different times when, when current events in the news pop up. We're going to we have a lot to talk right, about. <laughs> a whole lot. Um, when things align with scripture, we just want to align these things with, 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 with the eyes word. Um, align his word with, with these current events and then seeing how they 
line up or how they don't align and that's why these things are happening in the world and also we want to touch on we're big on on marriage relationships and parenting so we want to align these things because we we know especially in our community that um the root of a lot of our problems is because we left y'all we stopped obeying this word but the second part of it is the parenting um the odd tales about all the curses that are going to fall upon the generations because of what the fathers did what the parents did and we're seeing that <laughs> take hold today so not teaching not teaching the, our children his right, torah his right, instructions his instructions his law, right know? so we're seeing the effects of all that of, of what's happening today so we're just going to be touching on those things as we come up with different teachings for you guys to share with you guys and that's pretty much it if you have anything to add ah well we have a lot to talk about so on the other videos i'll just add on right <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe like to the channel comment if you want to see us talk about certain things and we just hope you guys enjoy it and we want to fellowship with you guys another thing check us out on yahoo and yahoo is the way on, on facebook that's our page i'll put it in the uh, in the show notes and um, also please subscribe to our channel right if you have not subscribed yet subscribe to our channel exactly. and stay tuned you know for the other teachings we're going to be doing we want you guys to also comment as well right let us know your thoughts let on what we're talking thoughts. about well, yeah, you know, in your our walk. videos right. any problems you struggle with in your walk we know that <laughs> this walk has many issues that you have to deal with. So we're here to help you. Um, we're here to try to help you through it because we know that it's a lonely walk. And we all need each other because it's only if it's few of us. And we're scattered across all four corners of the herd, guys. So we need each other. So we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll chat with you soon. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.